You want to share your Google Calendar with others, let's say with your teammates? I'm Chanel Greco from Superis, and in this video, I'll show you the four different ways you have to share your Google Calendar with others. The four different ways of sharing our Google Calendars with others are, first, share your calendar with specific people. Second, delegate your calendar. Third, share calendar with everyone in your organization. And fourth, share your calendar with people who don't have Google Calendar or who don't have a Google account, as a matter of fact. Let's see how Jane can share her calendar with specific people. So she starts up calendar. You can do so by clicking on the Google apps and then on calendar and then clicking on the settings menu and then settings here or an alternative uh, way to get to this point is click on options and then on settings and sharing. That is also possibilities. Uh, in the Google world, um, there's usually one, more than one way to do the exact same thing or to, to get to the same point. Okay, so here we are. If we scroll a bit down, we have our access permissions and our share with specific people. And that's exactly what we're interested in now. So here we can now say add people and let's add Adam. There you go. Um, and here I can choose if Adam gets to see all event details or if he only gets to see free busy but I want to hide the details for him or from him. Why don't I go ahead and do that? So see only free busy. I'll send this to him and Adam will now have access to my calendar or to Jane examples calendar. So why don't we go ahead and switch over to Adam's account? Adam received an email with information that Jane example has shared her calendar with him. So what he has to do is he has to add the calendar to his or her calendar to his calendar. That's what I'm doing now. And yes, go ahead and add it to Jane uh, or add Jane examples calendar to Adam's calendar. So if we go to next week, then we see here this yellow, you see it down here, Jane example. So the yellow events, those are Jane examples events. And we don't see the details of the event. All we see is beschäftigt in German, which means busy in English. So that's all we see in Jane examples calendar. Why is that the case? Well, if we go back to Jane's calendar, where was it? Uh, nope, down here, we said that Adam can only see the free busy. So he doesn't see the details of anything in the calendar. Now on to the second possibility, delegate your calendar to someone. Let's say that Jane is the manager and Adam is the assistant of Jane and she wants to now delegate her calendar to him, mean, meaning that he can create and modify or delete events for Jane example in her calendar. So we've already shared it with Adam. Now let's, let's just go ahead and change the, the, the settings of the sharing permissions. So here we're going to say make changes and manage sharing. So that's pretty much the maximum of sharing possibilities that you have on Google Calendar. Now let's have a look at Adam's view of the situation. So the difference is quite obvious. First up, Adam now sees the details of this meeting before he just saw that Jane was busy. And the second thing is um, that Jane examples calendar is not on, under other calendars, but it's under my calendars in Adam's Google Calendar. So this means that he can go ahead now and choose in which calendar he wants to create a new invite. Created by Adam, just to make sure. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's have a look at how Jane sees this. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, no, we don't want that. So let's go over here, created by Adam. And he down here you see created by Adam Muster. So that is the way that you can delegate your calendar, let's say maybe to your assistant or the people or the person in your team who's in charge of creating um, events for the team members. 
let's see how we can share our calendar with everyone in our organization. So let's say that the team is growing and Adam isn't the only colleague of Jane. There's 10 other people. Now, you, she doesn't want to manually add all these people. Instead, she wants to share her calendar with all of them. So we, again, go to our settings. This time I, I went through this possibility or through the settings gear icon. You click on Jane example and now here, um, let's go ahead and um, take the permission for Adam away to access Jane Examples calendar and instead give it to everyone in the organization, so including Adam, but everyone else, so that we don't have to manually add him here to the 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 interface with share with specific people. So what I can do is I can click on make available for Saperis. So that's the organization of this account. And here I again can choose either see only free busy or see all event details. So in this case, let's say um, see only free busy. Let's say that's the default. Um, and this is actually a combination that we see in a lot of organizations that default is your sharing your calendar with everyone in the organization, but you only letting them see if you're free or busy. And then it's up to you to share the details of your events with specific people. And you would then add them down here and maybe also then go a step further and maybe delegate your assistant and give him or her full rights on your calendar. So that's how you would share your calendar with the whole organization. Let's see how we can share our calendar with people who do not have a Google account. Again, we're going to access our sharing of our calendar. And this time we're going to say make available for public. Yes, we know what we're doing. And we're only going to choose free busy. Now, maybe an idea, when would you use this um, sharing of your calendar publicly? Well, let's say maybe you work in sales or you have a lot to do with customers and you want to share your calendar with them so that you, they know when they can, you know, when you're free, when they can contact you, when they can book an appointment with you. So this would be a scenario where you would want to use this possibility. Now, in order for them to actually access your calendar, we're not going to get the shareable link down here because that still requires a person to have a Google account. But instead, we can scroll a bit more down and we'll find um, the integrate calendar section and we're going to choose this public URL to this calendar. So we could go ahead and let me just copy this. We could, um, you know, integrate this into our company's website if we wanted to. So let me paste the link and there you go. This is now Jane examples calendar. Um, this is a normal Safari browser where I am not logged in with my Google account, which means that you can have a look at Jane examples calendar without actually needing a Google account. Go ahead and let me know which of these sharing options do you plan on using in the future? And check out my other video tutorials about Google Calendar, Gmail, and so on. And would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel? Because every week I publish new tutorial videos just like this one, and I would not want you to miss out on any of those tips and tricks I give.